Everything about the hunting experience and camp life is, is really important to us. Um, these activities are really the centerpiece of our lives. It's, it's really almost entirely an extended family camp. It's very family oriented and we look forward to it all year long. Being able to get up in the morning, know the country that we're going to hunt, and go directly from having breakfast up the mountain, hunt until dark, know how we're going to get back to camp easily, which route to take, um, and add to our knowledge base every year. We learn, we learn something new every single year about where to look for the animals that we're hunting, what their migration patterns are, where they use bedding areas, where they're passing over saddles or through areas we call funnels. And, and that, that really improves our success rate too. It's, it's pretty cool. This is one thing that makes American culture in the United States really special. It's self-sufficiency, it's, um, it's an appreciation for your natural environment, I think a more realistic view of how things work and function. This is a tradition, it's a lifestyle. It's a connection with the world that you live in, in a broader sense. And um, it's distasteful to some people, but I really believe that hunting helps you understand better how you fit in the world on this planet that, that we live in. Kabai and I said yesterday, you know, just recognizing how fortunate we are to be able to experience this every year. Public lands, um, uh, the abundance of hunting opportunity in this state, the ability to always be out with friends and family. Um, my granddaughters, for example, um, I've frequently said with some pride that they have never missed a single hunting camp that we've had, including when they were in the womb. And even though Marcel is 12 and Anissa is 9, they're completely self-sufficient in camp. We've, we've really come to appreciate just the basic creature comforts that these wall tents provide. Warm tent, home, <laughs> looking forward home. to coming in and yeah. starting, starting dinner and, and capturing, catching up with everybody. What did you see? What, what did you experience? You we, we arrive here to set up camp and it's like, well, we're home again. When the last of the yellow leaves are twisting down and the haze of Indian summer has given way to sharp, clear, rain-washed air of fall. The anticipation that precedes each day of field is somehow tempered for me by a feeling of nostalgia. The weathered corn, an apple left unnoticed on the tree, the crunch of frosted stubble underfoot, wood smoke in the evening. These things all remind me of the wild free days of childhood because the best of all those days were the Saturdays of fall.